Good evening, everyone. This is Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, about to do a reaction video. Hopefully, you guys are all having a pleasant evening tonight. I looked at the wrong angle on this camera. This first time visiting the channel, let me say welcome. Do me a favor and do not subscribe to me. Check out some of my other material before you subscribe. That way, let me know that you actually subscribe because you like the stuff that I'm pushing forward. My church slash God topics, my dating videos, my comedy home entertainment videos. Check those out a little bit first before you subscribe because I'm doing your favorite artists, okay? All right, so you guys remember when I did that video? I didn't watch the video, but I heard the song by Disturbed called The Sound of Silence. Well, a lot of you guys told me I should go and watch the video, and I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm, you. You wouldn't want to have seen it because I didn't react to that video like y'all probably thought I would have. I mean, I seen, once I did it, I seen that there was other reactors on there that reacted to the video, and a lot of stuff is fake. I'm just telling you, and I, I, I would have just, I don't know, it, to, to tell, literally I hear the little, 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 I wouldn't have responded to that song no differently watching the video than it would have been when I listened to it. I just know I wouldn't have because I know that it's like, anyway, because you guys seen what I did when I did the spoof with Auntie Dashika Shea with him doing the other video that I heard of his. So anyway, the reason I'm saying all this is because I was told to do the originators of the song. And it's those one guys that I did a, uh, a little bit ago, uh, Simon and Garfunkel. So I'm about to go ahead and go right on into it. This is The Sound of Silence, the original version from 1964. Man, I don't know. I think I might like the, uh, I think I like this version better, in my opinion. It had, well, both of them were good, but this right here had like a total different feel to it. You know what I mean? Like the other one, honestly, the, this is my opinion. The one with uh, Disturbed on it, it had more like a, like going down a dark hole, depressive 
type thing to it, even though it was raising awareness of things like possible depression, whatever like this, but this one actually had like a melancholy like feel to it. Like it seemed like it just, I don't know. It had a different feel to it. I can see this being, I can see this right here being something that can be used in like a certain portion of a movie too. I don't know you guys always hear me say that, but um, I like this version better. I, I really did. The harmony between those guys right there and just how mellow it was. It just was a, I don't know what the, some of y'all going to say the word nostalgia or whatever. I don't know what the word you're looking for, but to me, it felt kind of melancholy. So anyway, that was The Sound of Silence, the original version from 1964 by Simon and Garfunkel. And I like this better than this third version. So each one of them were good, but I just like this version better, like I said, because of the feel they had to it. So, and plus they wasn't, yah, yah. I'm just kidding, because some people are going to get mad. Anyway, this is Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, about to check out. I hope you guys all have food, shelter, and clothing, and you know it. I hope and pray that every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all in Jesus' name.